Okay, this time I've got a request from you guys with this 34 hop mobile. I've been trying to figure out where to start with the restoration. I'm concerned if I take the body off the frame, I may never get the body uh, straight again because right now the door's all closed properly. The gaps are all good. I thought about using some channel iron and trying to uh, make a frame to hold everything in place. So uh, I guess we'll take a quick look at it. And I'd like your opinions on what to do. So it needs uh, the new sill plates and rockers. I'm trying to get pictures of the rockers. It's the same as the 34 Ford. I can't go underneath. I got a, uh, a tripod on the camera right now. The uh, floor, it's got water on right now. It's frozen, so it might look a little bit funny. It's got some issues up front where the, put your feet in the foot well there. Battery would have been hanging out there. Cowl corner is pretty straightforward. 34 Ford are readily available. I intend to make mine because I don't have to go very far up. Probably just uh, a few inches up anyway. So we're going to look at the uh, rear inner fenders. This is sort of where I think I need to start if I want to build this car into something sturdy. So if you can see, there's holes all the way around. The outer fenders have just like uh, sheet metal screws that went into here and held it on, but as they rusted out, people just put plates in there and drill, screwed into the plates and eventually pretty much don't have inner fenders anymore. You can see the bottom. So I know David Gardner did a, a bit of a presentation on how to do it, but I'd like to know more. He said he did like four pieces overall, I think. But it seems to me what he said was that when he did it, he redid this outer uh, part as well. So he came straight out, up and over, and then rolled in a, a flange kind of thing and welded it on, probably uh, where it meets the body, because the body is good and strong. Don't need to worry about that. So uh, I was thinking about using rollover dies in here, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna work. Because the rollover dies, they come in like inch and a half radius at the max. And uh, bear with me while I try to get the camera angle. But this is a three and a half inch hole saw. And it, it doesn't fit, it's bigger than that. So that pretty much, I think, rules out the rollover dies. This is about a five and a half inch hole saw. Let me take a look, and then I can just tell you what it is. It's five inch hole saw. So I'd be for like putting in a four inch ABS through a wall. It's about five inch on the outside. So it seems to fit in that area nice and tight. So <clears throat> looking forward, that's sort of what we have to deal with. Got to come all the way around and come down and taper into nothing at the back corner. Let's pop around to the other side. It's a bit different condition, but it's the same design. It doesn't have the patch for the gas tank on it though. Brand new rear fenders. Lucky me. I don't have the lights set up here. Hopefully you can kind of see a little bit in there. My camera kind of bugs out when it's too dark. But again, you can see it tapers off to nothing. Then I got to do the uh, back as well as the uh, tire holder area. I'll admit there is one design flaw in the mobile. I think that there is supposed to be a little drain hole here with a piece of rubber hose that went down underneath the car, but of course it gets plugged up in the end of the hole. Great big hole. So bear with me while I get this shop set up with better lighting. I intend that this helps me learn as well as yourself. So uh, if any of the experts out there can tell me where to begin with these quarters, please let me know. Thank you very much.